Hi guys, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. What are we going to do today? We are going to stop you from swinging the golf club wrong. No matter where you're at in your golf game, love, hate journey, we are going to ensure that you are going to focus and do the right simple things when it comes to your swing and how you're approaching your golf shots to give you the consistency and enjoyment and stress-free kind of swing that you perhaps are dreaming of. If you um, are not already, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, at the end, ask any questions and we'll be able to help you improve your golf with simple, fun ways to play this game. So, how are you swinging the golf club wrong? If you're not one of the top PGA players, LPGA players, European Tour players, you might be swinging it wrong. But even if you're just enjoying golf, there's a different way to swing the golf club correctly. Your correct way. Because everyone swings differently. You just have to look at the top tour players. I talk about this all the time, but please do. Look how different their tempos are. Look how different their angles are because we are all built differently. Yes, we're all human. I mean, there might be a few creatures watching, but we are all human and we are wired very similarly. But the only real way that we are wired exactly the same is how we respond to a task, an objective, throwing, hitting, whatever it might be. Our, the thing is, our brains work the same, but our mechanics, our limb length, the, how much we can rotate is all a variable, individual to me, to you, to, to the guy playing over there, everyone. So you can't just try and fit into an arbitrary model, an arbitrary swing uh, positions. I talk about this a lot, but it's so freaking important that you have to do this because trying to do so is futile. It genuinely is. You have to find your swing. And what is your swing? You might think, well, my swing is something like this. That's terrible. Okay, we can improve that a bit, but we have to be able to find your swing. And the way we can do that initially is one, we're going to make sure that every single shot you hit, whether it's on the practice, whether it's on the course, you're giving yourself uh, a chance to hit a good goal shot. You've got a plan. And that's where the simple process comes in of choosing your strategy, intermediate point, matching your setup, letting go and evaluating, okay? So, you know, we, we need to do the, just a few of those elements and the results would be profound for you, I promise. But it's nothing to do with swing positions. It's nothing to do with trying to, you know, get the right angles here. It's just about telling your brain where you want that ball to go, okay? So I want a high fade. If I allow it, if I picture that in my mind, even if I've got a terrible goal swing, if I think, okay, however I need to do it, how, whatever I need to do and feel to try and hit this high fade, even if I don't really have much of a clue how to do it, just try. Just try and hit a high fade that's something like this, you know? And I did it. You, you will be able to manipulate and understand that you have way more control over your goal swing than you think you do if you're more precise. If you think I would always slice, I always slice, just stop slicing by trying to hit a hook, okay? Just try and hit a hook. doesn't matter how you try and do it. And if you just think, I've no idea how to do it, just like, just have a go, just have a try. Because the way you're swinging the golf club or the way you're being told to swing the golf club in these positions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, all these different positions, that's not how the golf swing works. So what I want you to do is one, be precise and where you want to hit the ball. Let me pick up a different club here. So pick up a six iron, that'll do. So the way I want you to do it is not only be precise in your target of what you're trying to, to hit, the swing mechanics that I want you to do is to realize I don't need to worry about where you are, especially on um, the takeaway, the backswing, the top of the backswing, you know, these things can really bog us down. But there's one, uh, well, there's a couple of things I want you to do to give you a, a, 
a freer swing, okay? And this is gonna help you find your more ideal goal swing. Move sort of number one, if you will, is just allowing, I mean, Arnold Palmer did this. So I think he knows, uh, we know, he knew what he was talking about, right? His goal swing, main thought, pretty much was to feel like the left shoulder is going down. It's as simple as that. So the left shoulder is going down that way, to, pointing towards the golf ball. Just by doing that, okay, just by doing that, pointing that left shoulder down, and allowing the arms to just go where they want, I have a perfect goal swing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's annoyingly simple. So you just point that shoulder down, as long as you've got, you know, a nice grip, you've got your dress position, okay? You've got, um, you know, suppleness in those arms. You've got suppleness in those arms, and you just allow some flow, okay? For that left shoulder to point down, you're gonna get into a nice, strong position here. Now, if you find that just by pointing that down that your arms are kind of coming out a bit too much or whipping on the inside a little bit too much, what I would like you to do is just have a feeling that the upper arms, just the upper arms, like I don't want the elbows tucked in, just the upper arms here, like the biceps. And what you can do is just tuck the armpits in a little bit to feel this. But that's gonna give you a bit of connection to sort of encourage you to allow the arms to flow along that sort of path as you're pointing the shoulder down. You do that and then reverse the movement to get to a, a full finish and feel like you're kind of getting through that impact zone with confidence. So let's just go through that slowly. All I'm gonna feel is the shoulder going down and I extend through. I can't emphasize enough how easy that goal swing is, all right? Just by tucking those arms in, allowing the arms to flow, all right? There's so many other things you can think about, like where the legs are going, what the wrists are doing. Am I a little bit shut? I have a tendency to get a little bit shut here with the arms, okay? Like with the club face, which causes that. But it's not, it doesn't worry me too much, especially when I'm really not thinking about my goal swing. But I've got the arms tucked in. I've got suppleness in the hands and the wrists. I can really feel the weight of the club. But all I'm gonna do now is point this left shoulder down and then swing through. That is about as mechanical as you want, for most of you, your golf swing to be. Now, some of you are gonna prefer a wider sort of swing here, okay? Where you feel like pretty much the same movement, but you're going a bit wider, which I like. Some of you are gonna prefer a slower swing where we're a little bit more compact, a little bit shorter, and we're just kind of going like that, okay? Some of you are gonna prefer a longer, more fluid golf swing, where the same sensation, where we're swinging down, and we've got flow, a bit more tempo to it. But all of those have the same feeling, okay? Not only am I being precise about the shot I wanna hit, all of those were fades. If I wanna hit a hook, but um, all of those swing changes, even if I stand open. The same feeling is left shoulder down and swing through. Every single shot is hitting the fade that I wanna hit and it is so dead simple. That's how you play golf. Is there room for improvement on those swings? Of course there is. Can we get more shuffling? Can we get more compression? Can we transfer that weight a little bit better? Absolutely, but just feel that left shoulder going down and you can get some nice compression and you're free to play golf. I, I, you know, I can show you more technically um, sound golf swing, which I, I you know, this isn't my normal golf swing that I'm demonstrating to you here. I'm just emphasizing how you're swinging it wrong by making it too complicated, thinking about positions where you need to be compressing through the ball. Just allow flow. Keep the, those upper arms in. Think about Arnie, point that left shoulder down and you're gonna get the strikes that you want. Okay, it's, it really is as easy as that. So stop swinging the club wrong. Stop trying to just do arbitrary positions. React to your target. You know, whatever shot you're hitting, let's take a wedge. Just pick a ball. 
recommend. 54 degree wedge. That's it. I mean, this is a little pitch shot here, but it's the same thing. I'm going to make sure that I'm picking my target. I'm matching my setup, but I'm going to feel the same thing. Those arms tucked and pointing the left shoulder down just to here. I'm feeling the weight of the club as I come through. That's the shot, and I'm going to go for a nice, clean, sort of spinny strike to that orange flag there. Left shoulder down. And I nip it off the turf. And it, I mean, it carried a little bit too far, but that's the idea. I was being precise, but with the same mechanics. But find your tempo, find your rhythm, find your width. But that very simple sort of uh, technique is going to clear the mind, clear the body, clear the stress, so you can go out and play golf and hit certain shot shapes or even just try to. Okay, so we covered quite a lot there, but hopefully that shows you how you're trying to swing it is the reason why you're not doing so well, probably, or why you're frustrated or why you're even watching this video in the first place. Okay, so if you have any questions, just leave them below. And you know what? There's a really cool series. If you just follow the link as well, there's a really nice series that will help you with every department of your game to help you cut five shots or more next time you play. And it really is that effective. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.